I checked. Check one, check two. I checked and unit one, two, and three are gone. Unit three is spewing out radioactive particles again. Yay. We gotta love the nuclear. Uh, we love, we love. That's a bounce in the world. That's what they're doing to us. They're taking the world and they're smashing it. The nuclear industry is a. Uh, they cooped the gras, the entire planet. They went to war against every creature on the planet, all eight million of it. The humans are just a byproduct of going to war against all the animals in the Pacific Ocean. That ain't going to exist in a year or two, I say, with the gallows laugh. Because this is not funny anymore. This is serious. I'm tired of this. You're not going to do nothing. 1,500 atoms a day slamming into the coastline of North America. 1,500 of these buckyballs in a cubic meter of air. 1,500 when your children were walking to school were breathing that. But they want to put you in jail because you don't give your kids an extra banana in their lunch bucket. 1,500 radioactive atoms that police officer is breathing in when he's giving you a ticket on the side of the fucking road. We've lost our way. They're policing us and they're, they're sucking up all this radioactive isotopes that are so radioactive. These buckyballs, there's a link below. It's just absolutely staggering. It's staggering that the media is going along with this because they're getting 1,500 radioactive atoms a day themselves. Their children are being murdered. Why do you murder yours by not bringing the world together like there was a big meteorite coming right at us? It's a big meteorite that's coming at us. It's called Fukushima. It's already slammed into us. You just haven't realized it yet, folks. This is really bad. Not a joke, no. This is not a joke. It's not a joke anymore. For whoever thinks this is a joke for a PR firm. The PR firms are murdering people forever with their comments. Their comments never go away unless they land on my page. It's no good to be a PR firm come here anyway because everybody's going to stomp you for 500 comments on top of that. 960 comments the other night. Wow. Holy. You guys are unbelievable. Some really good stuff there. I was howling. Some really funny stuff there. They're scared of that. They're scared that you will speak your mind. They're, the industry out there knows what it's doing. They knew all along. They knew back in 2011 that your children were breathing in all these buckyballs. They went out and done studies and then they hid it away under the national security law. They stabbed everybody in the back non-stop every day, all your children. They're attacking your children and they want to take you to court because you don't uh, pick up your kid quick enough after school or you didn't give them enough money for the teacher's soccer ball tummy thingy. You know what I'm saying? It's the ludicrousness of what they're doing to us at the same time, they're being poisoned. Their children are being poisoned by the same stuff. And they think they're going to get a pension out of this? They think they're going to be around long enough to, to, to draw their pension? They're worried about speaking up because they want to have a job no more. They need that job. They need to liquidate everything they got in the near future to pay for the medical care for their children. It's a lose-lose. No matter how much money you're making by keeping your mouth shut, or by keeping your jobs at the universities, what are you doing ultimately? Is you have to liquidate everything you have. You can't collect the pension that's not going to be there. There's not going to be no pensions there. There will be no such thing as a structured government in the near future, in a couple of years, because this is going into overload. And they know 100%. Go and look at the Hollywood movies, the global warming movies for the last couple of years. And all the modeling is there about super typhoons, super tornadoes, 500 mile an hour storms like that took out the Philippines. It's just relentless Hollywood projections of what this stuff could do. And so they pay Hollywood a lot of money to take the model, their peer review studies, their models that they got secretly done, and turn it into a movie so they can see what it's going to look like. And if it shows up, they know their model is pretty accurate by how the Hollywood movie was comparison, say, to the Philippines 
where there's 7,000 islands down there without no trees standing on it, without no telephone poles, without no fresh water, without no nothing. And they lied up on their Wikipedia page and said it's 155 mile an hour wind. That Yolanda was 155 mile an hour wind. But I showed you a video the other night with all kinds of news clips where they say it's a 195 mile an hour sustained wind that gushed up to 235. But they went in and they changed Wikipedia. How come? Because they don't want to link up what happened to the Philippines, how the radiation, how the typhoons went right over Japan, picked up all those radioactive isotopes, and became much more powerful to the point it became a F4 tornado that's normally only a quarter mile wide, became a hundred miles wide. It shouldn't exist on this planet, but it just took out the Philippines uh, four weeks ago. That's not uh, fantasy, that's real. That should be a fantasy. Hollywood shouldn't even be able to come up with a movie like that, but yet here it is in real life. 44 provinces destroyed, annihilated, annihilated. And you can't build nothing there because other storms are coming. What's the sense of living there? If you're going to have another 200 mile an hour wind, come in and sweep you away because you got nothing to hide behind anymore. The air becomes projectiles at those speeds. If you stick your arm out the door, you lose your arm or you fill it full of holes. The ears projectiles at 150 miles an hour. At 175 miles an hour, it'll tear your loved ones out of your arms and you'll never see them again. At 200 miles an hour, it'll sweep all the topsoil off the face of the earth at four hours sustained. Think about how a, hurricane, a tornado it comes over your head in about a minute, maybe. Most terrifying thing anybody's ever experienced. This thing lasted for four hours over your head. An F4 tornado that stayed on your head for four hours. It's unimaginable, inconceivable that that actually happened on planet Earth. There's no more time for this, this, um, this routine of left, right, and center, and middle, and far, and extreme, and nihilistic, political. That, that's history. There's no such thing as pensions coming anymore. Forget your pensions. You have to concentrate on dealing with this. This is a monster. And the more we stick our head in the sand, the more it's going to cost us. This is Al-Qaeda. This is our Al-Qaeda against the planet. The, the terrorists that they're always talking about, that they created to overthrow Saddam Hussein and push Russia out and create 5 million orphans in Afghanistan for 11,000 Taliban. 5 million orphans for 11,000 Taliban. 2 million dead for 11,000 Taliban. 2 million widows for 11,000 Taliban. You know, there's 22 veterans committing suicide, homeless and destitute on the streets every day for that same 11,000 Taliban. That's 80,000 over the last decade that have committed suicide, yet only 4,500 died in the war, they say. 5.5 million bullets a month in Iraq, but you never shot no civilians. Shoot 5.5 million bullets a month in New York and tell me you never got no civilians. And tell me that there's a building there without a depleted uranium round through it. It's time to move on from all of that. We have annihilated this planet, this endless war, this endless war, this rhetoric. Oh, Iran is going to get a bomb. Iran's got 49 bases around. What are they going to do, dress up like a camel and sneak out across the desert? Somebody has to fund all them bases. Somebody has to fund all those soldiers. Somebody has to fund all that. And that it takes a lot of resources. So they steal all the resources wherever they're to, and then they fleece you at the same time. It can't sustain itself another day. It can't sustain itself no longer. We can't keep doing this. They just can't do that no more. This is not, um, you know, if you're if you got a loved ones in the military or you're pull them out, get them out. You can't leave your loved ones in the military anymore. You can't support your loved ones joining the military anymore. You can't tell them that's an option anymore. You got to stop it. You got to retract everything about that. You can't let them build up a military. We don't need the bloody things. That was the idea of all these nuclear weapons. Oh, we got nuclear weapons. We won't have war no more. You got the war against the entire planet. Every species on this planet. The Pacific Ocean is destroyed. And nobody doubts that. Only a bunch of idiots. But the rest of the people that's in the know, they don't doubt it. Go over to the News and there's not nobody there from mainstream media and dim stories that doubt it. They're a scattered one. But they're overwhelmed by the reality and the facts and the factual 
peer-reviewed academic studies that shows them to be not only talking idiots, but talking monkeys, literally the education of a monkey, to come out and say that a banana is equivalent to uranium-234, that a potato is equivalent to the background radiation of uranium-235, or that uh, the background radiation of a rock is equivalent to 238. These weaponized isotopes that will kill you if you ingest one of them. And people in San Francisco, people in California, people in Vancouver, Canada, people all along the British Columbia coastline in Alaska, people in the Philippines, people in Vietnam, people in Japan, people right around the entire Pacific are breeding in these buckyballs. And we don't even try. And we hide it away under the national security. Those people are not humans. They're not allowed to do something like that. They want to fine you if you don't let your child go, to, if your child sleeps in. But they let your child breed 1,500 buckyballs a day. That's inconceivable that this can sustain itself much longer. It can't. 65,000 TSA agent ain't going to stop it. 300 million handguns, 300 million rifles, 300 million shotguns. The TSA is only a joke. When the people lose it, they're finished. There's nothing can hold that back. And at some point, these people, they got the models out there in the Hollywood movies of how this should break down in their opinion, how people will turn on each other and everything else. That's not going to happen. People are going to turn on the system. And they're not going to turn on the little dummies. They're going to go looking for the big players. The Nuclear Regulatory Agency, the World Health Organizations. All of these organizations have stabbed you in the back nonstop. They're stabbing your loved ones and they're stabbing you all day long. And if you look at any of the headlines that are out there about this, it's not too hard to work out. That this can't sustain itself. That the GMO that they're poisoning you with is only meant to break down your immune system so that the radiation will kill you off quicker. So it'll attack you more efficiently. They actually done that. They engineered all the nutritions out of your GMO. All your all your new um, supplements are GMO. All your pharmaceuticals GMO. There's no mineral. There's no nutrients in it. And then they got toxins in it. You think that's an accident? You think they couldn't have put more minerals in it? You think they couldn't have put more calcium in it? You think they could put more magnesium, potassium, cobalt? Iron in it? If they could engineer it all out, of course they could. So they've done it on purpose. And they're getting away with it because a handful of people lets them get away with it. But the people that you elected to protect you were those same ones that used that position then to destroy you, kill you, murder you, stab you up. And that's all they've done since they've been there. That's all they've done since they've been there, every politician. All they've done was sold out everything you got. Gave away everything you got to a handful of these corporations with human rights. And that can, can't sustain itself any longer. That can't sustain itself another day. You flatten everything. You destroyed all the natural resources. You destroyed the entire Pacific Ocean in just a couple of years with radiation. And you think everybody's just going to go back to sleep and forget about it like it never happens. Like the Philippines never happened by changing the Wikipedia page. By coming out and saying that it's like background radiation of a fucking banana in the comments sections. You think you're going to win over what's happening. You think you're going to change all the debts that are coming. That you're enabling by doing that to us. The people out there in the PR firms. These are the monsters on our planet. These are a clear and present danger to every human on this planet. The more money they get, the more lives they murder. That's what they do. They murder. This stuff is hot particles. This is not the background radiation of a banana. And if you said it to me to my face, any media, I would slap you in the mouth for it as hard as I could on camera. Because you don't say that stuff and get away with it in front of my face. If I'm going to get close enough to you and knock the head off you with a rock, I won't take it from you. Nobody else is going to take it from you. You got to stop doing that to us. You got to stop telling people that a banana is equal to uranium 235. You got to stop telling people that a rock off the ground, background radiation is equivalent to plutonium 239. What kind of world do you live in? That you can make a check 
and go out and give lectures and say that. That you can make a check by coming out in the comment sections on the internet and chat rooms and saying that. And muddling the water and murdering people, and murdering people that are trying to learn the honest truth and trying to protect themselves. I know so many people who just won't accept it because mainstream media won't tell them. So they're murderers, 100%. But they're murdering their own children and themselves by doing that. And their loved ones, and their parents, and their friends, and their relatives. They're murdering all of them by keeping that lie alive, by not dealing with it. At some point, you're going to have to deal with it. At some point in the near future, you will have to deal with this. If what happened to the Philippines happened to Vancouver, we'd be dealing with it. If what happened to the Philippines happened to California, we'd be dealing with it. You wouldn't be able to look away and ignore it. Because that's real, whether you like to believe it or not. What happened to the Philippines is unbelievable. It shouldn't have happened on this planet. A hundred mile wide F4 tornado on Earth. Nobody would even predict that for another billion years. But there it is. 2013. What a way to go out of that year. What's next year? 300 miles an hour in California? 400 miles an hour in Vancouver, Canada? Is that the point where you're going to wake up and say, hey, maybe global warming got something to do with radiation? Maybe global warming is all about the radiation they've been putting into the ocean for all these years from all those nuclear plants. All that energy that the, the gammas and the bettas that they're moving along at 270,000 kilometers an hour, and that's not energy. Don't think I don't see the trolls out there saying that's not energy. And that's what they're doing. They're skewing it on purpose, just like they've done the Wikipedia, where they said the Philippines was only 155 mile an hour fucking winds. 155 mile an hour winds up on the Wikipedia page. Like, that's going to change what happened to the Philippines. But what they're doing is they're able to more people to die in the Philippines because of this. To more people to suffer every day because of that. And that's real suffering, what they're doing to us. I'm so fed up with it. I'm so angry that they're doing this to us. They're supposed to do the right thing. That's why we got them in the positions they are. And in turn, what they've done was they stabbed us every day now for over a thousand days. They stabbed us every day for over a thousand days and they think they're going to get away with it. Do you think they can keep the charade alive till what? Till the Philippines comes here? You're not going to have no pension. You're not going to have no home. You're not going to have any security. You're not going to have any shelter. Because you won't speak up and do the right thing. If it was a meteorite coming at us, you wouldn't have no problem speaking up because everybody else would be doing it. But because you can't see it, taste it, smell it, hear it, feel it, you think it don't exist? You don't think that the people in Chernobyl, a million people, a million, went and got their rads. And what do they do in Fukushima? They pick up the homeless, the destitute, the mentally retarded, and bring them in there. Not for 10 or 15 seconds like they've done at Chernobyl, but for 10 or 15 months, or 10 or 15 weeks. And then they set them loose with half the pay to die the most horrible death imaginable. And that's that's and we're supposed to trust that. We're supposed to do trade with that. We're supposed to import their stuff in our country. We're supposed to trust you. You can go fuck yourself. I got that for the side of your mouth. If I ever get into debate with you and you try to summon that shit with me. I'll knock your teeth right out of your mouth. I'm tired of it. You can't keep this up anymore. You can't keep the murdering up that's going on. 1,500 buckyballs a day. Or, I'm sorry, in a cubic meter of air. You're in on a bicycle. You're out for a walk. Your children are out playing at it. And their job is to tell you. That was their job. I oh, know, I'm yelling. I just yelled for fucking 20 minutes. Because I'm sick of it. It has to change now. We got to get to work now to solve this. We gotta go to work now and we gotta solve this. We gotta stop this routine of sports and celebrities and politicians, and war, more war, more fucking weapons. And not raise a finger to deal with that. Not 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 deal with it. So it goes out into all the other oceans. It goes to all the other continents. And then what? We kill off ninety five percent of the species on this planet? Say, ah oh, yeah, that's life. 
We still got nuclear power at all. They're supposed to put it in the sarcophagus for millions of years. What do they do with it? 45 gallon drum, drop it off a ship. Just let it, just been doing that for 50 years. This is what they've done for 50 years. And then they get all the medals and they get all the, the pensions. <coughs> And they get up in the media and, oh, you work for the, the Nuclear Regulatory Agency for 30 years. Oh, you're such a hero. Such an distinguished gentleman. Such a distinguished lady. Oh, you got to wear a tuxedo and go to benefits. And you got awards for being a, the safest nuclear power plant on the planet. Meanwhile, you were pouring it out in the people's communities. You were releasing it onto the children. You had iodine rainstorms over all the nuclear planets plants on this planet has been radio iodine all the time in the clouds because they're releasing it all the time the people that work at the nuclear plant if that's your loved one your your loved one is a mentally retarded murdering idiot and a coward and a traitor to humanity a total traitor there is nothing good period about a nuclear plant there never was they don't have the technology to contain it. It shouldn't exist till they got the technology and we need to go to work to develop that technology. We have to do something. We can't let what's going on go on. We can't let Japan do what it's going to do, which is nothing. It's putting a tarp around and telling you to shut up, that they're going to throw you out in a concentration camp for 10 years if you open your fucking mouth. Pick up a gun. Go deal with those fuckers. You can't let them get away with it because they'll murder you. Just because you don't die immediately don't mean they didn't murder you. Just because you don't die for six weeks or six months don't mean that wasn't why you were dead. It's because you got murdered by these lying cowards, these traitors, these manipulators, these useful idiots for the nuclear industry. Everybody in charge of the nuclear industry should be in war crimes. Every freaking one of them. Every fucking one of them knows what they're doing. Every one of them says it's like the background radiation of a banana. It's got nothing to do with uranium-235. A banana's got nothing to do with uranium-234 or 238. A banana's got nothing to do with 239. And the people that say it, you should walk up and punch their fucking teeth down their throat for saying it. They deserve it. They got an education and they know better. You wouldn't do it in my fucking watch. You wouldn't do it in front of my face. You wouldn't sit there with a debate with me and say that with a smug look. That'd be the last smug you had in your face for a long time. Because I don't give a fuck. I do six months in jail to knock your teeth down your throat in a heartbeat by saying that to me. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm guilty. I should have knocked his teeth down the throat the minute he sat in front of me. I waited too long. That's what it's come to. You tell me it hasn't. You tell me all... The carnage in the Philippines is coming to your neighborhood soon. That shouldn't exist on planet Earth. It's not real. The 7,000 islands down there, the 44 provinces weren't annihilated by 200 mile an hour winds. The fastest to hit land for four hours sustained. I know that one man down there, he had three children pulled out of his arms. They didn't get pulled down, they got pulled up. Right out of his arms, his three children. You go tell him. You go tell him how good nuclear power is. You go tell him how much money you make being a PR spokesperson or being a, a useful note piece in the lecture circuit for the nuclear industry. I could spend all night naming you fuckers. I've watched you over and over from Harvard and Yale and Berkeley and MIT and Stanford and Oxford. I've watched you people lie to your students. For many years. I watch you constantly lie on the media. I watch the media constantly lie to everybody that's watching them by using that. Oh, it's like the background radiation of a banana. I would take that banana and shove it that far up your nose. You would suffocate, I can guarantee you. Because I put my hand over your mouth at the same time. Because you're not human and I wouldn't see you as a human. I don't see you as humans. I see you as creatures, as murdering creatures as entities that are out to destroy life on the planet, not because you're a suit on TV, but because you know better. Because you play a lawn to keep your job, but 
Your pension is useless. Your money is useless in a couple of years if you don't deal with this, this huge, massive thing that's coming at us. This meteorite that is going to annihilate Earth. This is an extinction level event. It's unrelenting. The fact that they poured all that salt water on it sealed our fate. You certainly seal the fate of the Pacific Ocean because you won't even try. We don't even get a chance to try. Humanity's last stand is we don't get a chance to try. Excuse me. We don't even stand up for our souls. We let this idiotic monster known as the military industrial machine go out and wage war and use up whatever resources are left on this planet. Let our kids go out and kill other people's kids. For who? For who? For the Rockchild and the Rockefellers and Queen Elizabeth and Queen Beatrice and Prince Philip who wrote in his autobiography that when he dies after such thing as reincarnation he wanted to come back as a virus and wipe out 95% of the humans left on the planet. That's not me, that's him. That's what all these people think. That's what all these people talk about. That's what all these people propagate. That's the think tanks they put out there. That's the bursaries they put out there for after they die. That's the Rupert Murdochs on the planet intending to keep the evil alive long after they're dead. They hate life itself. But that's how they got the money, because they had that hate. If they didn't get the money when they were young, they would have been mass murderers, serial killers, or pedophiles, child molesters, which they are now, and they always have been. And that's why they got what they got, because people got so much on them. And we can't sustain this no longer. We can't do this any fucking longer. I can't put up with their lies any longer. I'm not going to put up with it any longer. It's getting to the point now where... Where I understand we're at the tipping point. We're at point zero, literally, at this stage. The Pacific is dead. You just don't realize it'll be dead in a couple of years. Just because it didn't kill you today don't mean that when you died in a couple of years, right? That you didn't die because of that massive amount of radiation that killed all the oxygen in the ocean. What's going to happen then? They're sucking up the CO2 on the sly for their space stations so they can have oxygen up there and plants, right? That's what they're up to. That's what CO2 is all about. Sequestering the oxygen molecules away before it gets contaminated with the buckyballs. That's what that's been all about, see? Because this has been going on for five decades straight. These evil, sick, twisted, demented people that work in the nuclear industry, that dump all your shit in the ocean, gives yourself a pat on the back, takes the money they're supposed to use for building sarcophaguses to build, put this stuff into, and then goes out and buys their wife a wedding ring or a fucking stupid jacket or a stupid car. And meanwhile, he went and dumped it in the ocean. Those isotopes won't go away for billions of years. They destroy lives. You know, like a 45-gallon drum, folks, is an inconceivable amount of isotopes released upon this planet. What's coming out of Fukushima every day and what came out in the first couple of months and what's billowing out of Unit 3 right now, those death plumes will be here today or tomorrow that they seen yesterday and the day before. The jet streams are traveling at 100 miles an hour. 24 hours later, it's 2,400 miles. It's a well-known science how this works. This is real. You got to get out of the way of the jet stream. You got to learn to eat healthy. You can't eat GMO foods anymore. Let's have a touch of the flu. Haven't even come over looked at the page. I'm that fucking wound up. I'm that angry. I'm that mad now at listening to these lying, these lying manipulating creatures from all the universities in all the lectures. It's non-stop. And it has to stop. We can't sustain this another day. Right? It's okay for Calicott to come out, but she's not putting no emotions there. She's in a position where she has 25,000 doctors at her fingertips. And they can't even break the ice. Media could do it, but they can't. Because they think they won't have a job, or they think this. They'll probably be the most popular person on the fucking planet. They would just speak up and tell the truth. They say, I had to quit my job at Fox, because they don't want to tell the world about what really happens to the Pacific every fucking day that we were forced to shut up about. You think they would be the most popular people on the planet? If they were to drop all this panty-wasting, stupid ideology that they're living by, 
They got to them job by sucking everybody's dick all the time. That's how they got their job. Every one of them are pipe cleaners. Every freaking one of them. And they'll murder your children. They seen your children walking down the road by themselves. There was no one around. They get to rape them. That's the people at CNN. That's the people at our MSNBC. These are the murderers in your institutions, in your universities. These are the bootlicking, cheerleading lapdogs that aspired to positions of power and then never used it, not one single time. Yeah, they got charity. Bloomberg got charities because he wants his legacy to look like he was a good guy. But as a monster, what's going on with Fukushima, the, all the PR firms, the nuclear PR firms, eh? you people, you people, man, I tell you, you are the most loathsome, disgusting creatures on this planet. Nuclear PR firms are, are the worst creatures on the planet. They know what they're doing. They're looking for workaways and workarounds to trick people. They study how they can come out with a lie. Your nuclear lobbyists are mass murdering you. These are mass murderers. They know what they're doing. I'm just ready to strangle. I'm ready to strangle at this stage because nobody will do nothing. Nobody can do nothing. No, we, what I'm trying to do is educate people. And then once in a while I'll come out and I'll scream. I know, I'm sorry, I apologize. But what I do here is I try to educate people to have a reform to come out with a counter argument. That a banana got nothing to do with Uranium 134. How hard is it for an interviewer to say, that, oh, by the way, you know, bananas got nothing to do with uranium or plutonium. So I don't know why you brought that into the conversation. Oh, you know, it'd be really hard for a PR to come out and say it after that. You took all the wind out of their sail, but the fact that they will never, not one fucking clip you will ever find on the internet where a newscaster stood up and took one of these fuckers down a notch, that's all I would take. And it won't, and it won't happen. It can't happen. They won't have a fucking job. But they'd probably be the most popular person on this planet. Because somebody finally stood up and said the truth. And for some reason, that would be a miracle. For some reason, that would be spectacular. For some reason, that would be all over social networking sites. Has somebody actually fucking told the truth? That's how bizarre a planet we live up on is. That when ma media finally tells the truth, it goes all over social networking. Media told the truth. Media fucking told the truth. That'll go for weeks, because you won't have another clip coming out like it. He got fired. He got reprimanded. He got transferred. She got transferred. She had to blow somebody now all week long to keep her job. Right? She had to make a porno just to keep her job, but she did. She back up on Fox. Blah, blah, blah. Sell your soul. Sell their soul. Sell their children's soul. Their loved one's soul. And then the police are out fucking everybody over and won't touch these creatures, won't touch these monsters, won't fucking deal with it. And they want our respect. Man, when this goes to shit, they ain't got a fucking chance. People are going to be going looking for them right away, get rid of them right off the fucking bat. Useless fucking feeders on our planet are the police departments. Now, once had they arrested the banker. Now, once had they went out and arrested these fucking monsters. Now, and it dead was their job! Yeah, another one of the mates where I sound like a fucking idiot because I won't shut up. You know the tree? What about it, man? There's nothing there. Have you seen a picture of it? Go look up a fucking picture of it. I'm not yelling at you. Go look up a picture of unit tree. Tell me what about unit tree. What the fuck about it? There's nothing there. There's no fucking pools. I don't know why people argue over fucking pools at unit tree. Where the fuck are they? The building is melted. The cores are gone. It's hemorrhaging out nonstop. I'm not yelling at you. I'm yelling at all the idiots out there in the media that talks about Unit 3 like there's nothing wrong when the entire fucking building is melted. And anybody can go and look up that picture and say, yeah, that's fucked. What about Unit 5? <laughs> oh, that looks pretty good. It looks like it's still in shape. 5 and 6 is full of fucking water. That'll never run again. It's completely rusted. Every switchboard, every rocker panel, everything in there is fucking rusted. 
I'm not fit to fucking talk to her. I am. I, I'm just, that's the problem, is I don't got someone I can talk to in the media that'll tell the truth. I got no one I can turn to that'll tell the truth. That's why we're all here tonight, I guess. Because that's what we got. We go and we look all over the place for someone to tell us the fucking truth. And you gotta look up a picture. That'll tell you the truth. This video, I'm fucking screaming now for 35 minutes, probably nobody can even understand the word I said. Time it renders comes back up, you won't be able to hear a fucking ting because that's the way that microphone works when I scream. And I'm so angry. I'm just so angry now. Today. I just can't take it anymore. I just gotta come out and scream at least one night anyway. But! Oh, woo! I went and spent a bunch of money today on stuff to make puppets. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty badass, I know. Balloons and all kinds of stuff. But I never had time to fuck around. And I got some of the stuff shoved up. But I'll, over the next couple of days, I'll start organizing everything around me. And so when I do the comment section, I'll have a little puppet. And so we can different puppets, nuclear, all nuclear puppets, stuff like that. I got a lot of learning to do. That's okay though, I got all the material. I got oodles and oodles and oodles of material to make puppets, to make all kinds of weird shit. Uh, that's just a figure of speech, by the way. To make stuff that I can pick up, like a banana. Every time I say banana, I can pick up a banana. Uh, that says, uh, this is not uranium-235, by the way. It's got nothing to do with uranium-234, by the way. And so I've been making a bunch of props for that kind of stuff to drive it home to people so I can hold it up and people can see it. And they take a fucking screen capture. I swear to me. I'm sorry. You know, the tree is fucking destroyed. There you go. You know, the tree was Max Field. It was two million times dangerous than any other reactor on the planet. You know, the tree... Uh, each pool above it had 1,535 35, uh, containers, and each container had 80 rods in it. And each rod is capable of killing all the mammals on the planet after it killed all the humans, and there's still lots of that one single rod left over, and each pond had 122,000 rods in it. Those rods are so toxic. They're 2 million times. Now, that's because they put it through the reactor itself. So even the reactors... Uh, that don't have MOX fuel, like Unit 4, which was MOX fuel, are still a million times worse that are sitting in the ponds for 30 years trying to cool off because they're so friggin' hot. And if you had a little chunk of that, uh, you can go into any stadium, kill everybody in an hour or two. You can go uh, all day till the end of time and kill 100 people every hour till the end of time. Go into every club, every shop, and you'll kill everybody in those shops. Even if they're packed in less than an hour, they all be dead. And that little piece of rod, this big, you wouldn't need another rod. You don't need nothing else. You can go around, and not only at the same time, you can put it in the lakes and destroy a lake, and then go to a club and hang around a club for an hour. That's not because you'll be dead anyway. But that rod, if you took a robot, if a robot was able to contain it, could drive all over this planet and would just murder everything on this planet. And that rod still wouldn't lose any of its energy for at least another three billion years. So you can take it to another planet and kill all the life on another planet. You can take it to another planet. That's the military isotopes. Those isotopes are not necessary for making uh, power. All the isotopes we've been making for the last 40 years haven't been necessary. They're weaponized isotopes to solve equations and mathematical formulas and to destroy this planet. That's where they get the funding because the people that are actually in the know says, yeah, we'll give you funding for that because there's no way to contain it. You're, you're going to end up taking the blame. If there's any blame to go around, there's never blame to go around. They blame it on you. Give me more money. Give me more money, you fuckers. That's what they say to you all the time. Give us money, you fuckers. That's what they think of you. They actually hate your guts with a passion. I love you. I want you to survive. I want you to thrive. I want you to just stand up to, for yourself before you ain't got no fucking choice. Because soon you ain't going to have a choice and then it's going to be too late. Then they're going to have their game on. Then they're going to have their FEMA camps and everything set up. Then they're going to have their vaccines to fuck you over with. It's not bad enough what they're doing to you with the GMO. 
until you get a load of what they're going to do to you with the vaccines, forced vaccination down the road. But they won't tell you about the 500, the 1500 radioactive buckyballs that are the cubic millimeter uh, meter of your ear. That's confirmed over and over and over that the big death plumes that are blown right now from Unit 3 to Canada and the United States will be here tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. These new de death plumes are coming at us. And they're not going to tell anybody. They're not going to say, hey, you know, you probably don't want to walk around on Monday and Tuesday. Maybe you should stay home, everybody, on Monday and Tuesday. And the government's going to come around and give everybody iodine pills. We want you to take your iodine. Some of you are going to fucking die from taking it, but the most of you will uh, be better. And that's what they're supposed to do. That's what they're supposed to do under your constitutions, your Bill of Rights, and your Magna Carters. And what did they do? They told their own family to get out of the fucking way and never told you nothing. They told their own families, stay indoors in that day, and they never told you fucking nothing. And they done it too. They told their own employees to stay indoors because the government must live on, they said. You have to stay in, but you can't tell them because it's national security. But keep paying your fucking taxes, you stupid animals. Keep paying your taxes, ha ha ha. And they're stealing everything now because they know the bottom's going to fall out. So they're looting you now. Because you won't stand up. You won't make a difference. You won't phone a TV station or a radio show or make videos or even get out. Because you don't understand it. No one informed you. And then you have to go looking and searching. And at the same time, they're fucking... Yeah, well, I mean, this, this is the age-old thing, you know? That they fucked us over and fucked us over to the point where we turned on them... But the ones that we blame are never the ones that done it. Right? So you create more victims. Anyway. That's all I got. Hi Stacy Lane. Yeah, I agree with Stacy Lane. Good stuff. Hi Ketzer. Hi Sylvia. I'll wind it down. That's it. I can only scream so much before I piss off everybody anyway. Hi Jewel! Hi Loner! Hi Wor- uh, Work their field? Shit is hitting the fan and we're the fan. I hear you Sergeant. Hi Bill! Yeah, the, the f Coors got- Think about this one folks, the Coors I gotta stop yelling. I know, I'm sorry. It's really unusual for me to do that. I apologize. The core's got 9,000 degree temperatures, okay? Rocks will melt at 2,000 degree. Do you think cement is stronger than rocks? Well, you're wrong. Uh, cement with uh, steel rods into it, the tempered steel rods that they're supposed to have there, but who knows? Who knows, you know? Like the Kuzu's, the mob built the fucking place. The mob is doing all the maintenance on it. Like, you can fucking trust them. You can put your fate into that. Like you think they're actually on the site? You think they're not out there kidnapping people and showing them on the site? So you can't trust anything. There's no oversight. Nobody steps up to the plate. And the ones that do are marginalized and misrepresented by the fucking media. By the cowards. By the cowards. Like Bill O'Reilly. He needs a bodyguard, I can tell you. People like that, they need bodyguards. Glenn Beck, they need bodyguards. They, they really do. Because they're monsters. The reason you need bodyguards is only because you're a fucking monster. You don't need a bodyguard for any other reason. If you're a good person and a solid soul, you don't need a bodyguard. When you've got to get a bodyguard like Piers Morgan and stuff like that, that's because you're a monster. That's because you feel that insecurity because you're a monster. Because you lie and you manipulate. Yeah, thanks, Log Logman. Stacy Jane. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to catch up with that comment. Yeah, hi Penny, Miller, make us look at. Yeah, I hope it wasn't too bad, but thanks guys. Uh, wind it down. Thank you, Sherry, Herman. Thank you, broken ass Islander, poor bastard. Hi Patrick, Wheelhouse. Thank you, Alex Smith. We are the army. They're just gonna piss us off. Hey, blasted hippie, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knocking 
I'll have a wind down. Hi right, Daisy, 333 DFG, thank you. Yeah, good night, you and everybody else too. Sylvia, dog, yeah, uh, dog number four is a hoax. And by the way, I know I never answered the question last night of the day. Is uh, does DCA for animals the same as DCA for humans? I don't have a clue. I didn't know they made DCA for animals. I would imagine, because DCA is just a mineral. So it's not like there's one DCA and there's another DCA. DCA is just a mineral. It's a harmless mineral to the human body. It's been used on uh, exotic studies on people with rare diseases. And so it's been well vetted that it's totally harmless. And I know some people are there saying, oh, you got to be careful. DCA can hurt you. Show me the fucking study. I've never seen nothing like that before. How can a mineral hurt you? I guess like any mineral, if you, that's all you do. Take DCA all day. It's like everything else. Drink coffee all day. It'll fuck you up too. Yeah, you're welcome, Sherry Dog. Okay, folks, we'll catch you all tomorrow night. It was a lot of fun there the other night, 960 comments. I got through most of it that night and the rest of it the next morning with my first cup of tea, so that was pretty good. And uh, a lot of you people are pretty friggin' witty, you know that? Keep it up. Don't change, right? Don't change anything you're doing. You guys are awesome, just like you are. Make no mistake about it. Everything you're doing is cool, okay? It's a really good stream with you folks in the chat rooms. So a lot of people... Um, they, they learn a lot, I think, by just that alone. And I learn a lot, too, after when I read through it. Okay, we'll catch you guys tomorrow night again. And hopefully I got at least one puppet ready for everybody tomorrow night. A nuclear PR puppet is my first attempt. So I got the gear. We'll see you. Um, we'll see you then, I guess. Unless YouTube doesn't kick me off. Yeah, no, didn't kick me off. I got to refresh my page. Go back in and click the pretty button. Now it's going to ask me... Uh, do you want to sign into YouTube? And I bet you I'm still streaming. Now we're back to the video, 4723. And now I'm going to try to sign out again. Here we go. See you, see you tomorrow night, folks. Take care.